fact, he was so nice that he wanted to do it. And they thought, okay. But the other rulers did not like this idea. They were very angry. They didn't want Daniel to be in a higher position than they. So they thought a way to get him into trouble. They had to come up with a plan. What are we going to do? We can't let Daniel get such an important job. We'll get rid of him. Let's go to King Darius and make a new law that will make Daniel do something wrong. What sort of law should we suggest? I know what Daniel should go to three times a day. Let's go and tell the king about that. Yes, that is a great idea. Let's go. These men knew that Daniel prayed to God three times a day. If they made a new law that no one could pray to anyone but the king for 30 days, then Daniel would definitely get into trouble. So they went to propose this new law to the king. Okay, live forever! All the rulers have agreed you should make a new law for three days. You should make it. No one should pray. No one should pray to any god or man except. Sweet. 
times a day. How can this be? <laughs> I must find a way to change the law. Daniel is one of my favorite leaders. I must find a way to save him. All day, King Darius tried to find a way to help Daniel, but it was no use. King Darius himself had written down the law, but others, it could not be changed. King, it is now evening. You must decide what to do about Daniel. You must throw him into the lion's den. Yes, Daniel must be punished to show, to show the others he has broken your law. He must be thrown to the lion's den. I have no choice. <laughs> Daniel was to be brought to the lion's den. So Daniel was brought to the edge of the lion's den. The hungry lions did backwards and forwards, roaring. Briefly, Daniel waited. Then the men threw him in. <laughs> Daniel continues to work for the king and was greatly blessed. 